Alright, bye. Um, actually, all of my systems are nervous. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Behold a healthy breakfast of yogurt, peach, and apple disguised as eggs and fries. Do this to me and I will kill you. Bill Gates makes windows instead of gates. What? What is it about rain that makes worms go absolutely buck wild for pavement? Uh, if you must know, that's their dance club. My friend texted this to me and said she couldn't tell if this was a drink or drain cleaner. It's giving me such mixed messages, like it says non-toxic and industrial strength, but also no sugar and gluten-free? The drink of all time. Don't you see? It says multi-purpose because it's both a drink and drain cleaner. Guys, it's sparkling water. I... I what? I really need Elon Musk to change his company name. Tesla doesn't deserve to be remembered this way. Yeah, I agree, but also at the same time, he'd probably go with his last name, and I don't want to pick up any sort of electric product that says Musk. I want to be a bartender, so whenever someone orders a Bloody Mary, I can pretend I didn't hear them and ask him to repeat it a couple of times, and by the way, keep a big mirror behind me like in those old West films. <laughs> Just to watch some magic happen. <laughs> Do you ever have the urge to tell someone to shut the fuck up even when they aren't talking? The urge is... Check how much time there's left on an episode just to make sure they won't stop there. Uh, he, yeah, fucking Bojack did that to me a lot. The 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s seem to have all separate unique personalities, but these last 17 years seem to just be one big chunk of time that has no significant meaning. Finally, someone said it! These last 17 years have an oh no feel that gets bigger and louder with each consecutive year. Until eventually, by year the 25th year, you'll just hear one giant OH YEAH! Home is where you fully understand how the shower works. <laughs> if that's not the biggest mood, I don't know what is. I never speak a sentence without saying actually, genuinely, seriously, or literally, because I need everyone to know how sincere I am about the bullshit that comes out of my mouth. Yep. My main method for making friends has always been one, make one friend. Two, hope that this friend has other friends. And three, hope that these friends accept you as friend one sidekick and tolerate you long enough to bond. Alternatively, you can be the Roomba. You can be that awkward little robot that no one understands, and everyone slowly becomes attached to you because you're always there, and it's wrong when you're not. And you can let people strap knives to you. Siblings can be a pain. Until you're crawling around shirtless and blind at 11.02 at night and they come to help you. There's certainly a story there. That feel when you're on mobile and you have to work hard against autocorrect to keep your lowercase aesthetic. Trademark. Look, I have no problem drinking water, but I do have a problem getting up to pee when I'm already comfy. Especially when I'm going to bed. Do you have any idea how f fucking infuriating that is? Please. Please stop posting bullshit. Are you new here? <laughs> you serious? Hey guys, I'm gonna take a quick nap, like, wake me up in like five minutes so I can take out the trash. Connor, it's been five minutes! <laughs> Connor, the trash! <laughs> the threat level is currently at Hooten, but if present trends continue, then it may progress to hollering at any moment! Concept A fantasy cowboy who rides a dragon instead of a horse. Dragon riders are actually just fantasy cowboys, you heard it here first! Uh, how do you train your dragon? Do you just want the password to my blog while you're at it with these god tier takes? They're bad at all. <laughs> if you were a gifted, talented child that grew up in an anxious adult with fragile self worth and a perfection streak that makes you abandon things, if you're not good at them, immediately clap your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, cool bell, dude. Who's it told for?
Oh, oh man, th th this is awkward. This entire website is like watching a bunch of people trying to learn to walk, and every now and then you see two people doing front flips in the comments. Well, yeah. I just think that unhinged female characters with little blood on their face and wrath in their eyes is pretty neat. That, that, that that's all, all. Due to Corona, we have three days of the week now. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. This is just what having ADHD is like. And is the really important fourth day. The day of the appointment. No one knows how far away it is, but it exists. Looming in the background. Waiting to strike. Imagine this magical book that the instant you touched it, it can sense what book you need at the moment and it becomes that book. No more reading slumps! My jaw literally just dropped in awe. This is the best idea ever! The Book of Requirement. Yo, pickpocketed your mom the other day and she had a picture of someone else's kid in her wallet, but not you. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Shut up! So I found these in my friend's freezer while having a sleepover and became extremely scared. When I went to confront her about it, she looked me dead in the eye and whispered, Ice, ice, baby. Fuck, that's a good joke! I always hated those Among Us characters. I never thought my mother's spirit would transform me into one. Neon Genesis Evangelion. What the fuck is Neon Genesis Evangelion about? <laughs> Where do we even begin? Me in real life. No one can ever know this secret. Me to 8,000 strangers online. You guys will never believe this. Hey, every single one of you, every single one of you is valid. <laughs> Thanks, boss. <sighs> Sorry for being a dark sorcerer. As if it's my fault. Real gamers are too lazy to play games. Real gamers have depression. Real gamers just watch a playthrough on YouTube. <laughs> What's so hard about using someone else's shower? I've never understood why people talk about how confusing it is to use a shower that isn't yours. Like, come on! If all else fails, you can just shove your hand through the wall and rip the pipes out to turn the water on! You're forbidden from using my shower. Ever. How to finish your work in progress really fast. 1. Stop scrolling through Tumblr. 2. Turn on your laptop. 3. Open a Google Doc. 4. Fucking right! Instructions unclear, I'm now cleaning the oven. This, this didn't work. So Neil, is Good Omens 2 just an excuse to find increasingly elaborate ways to set David Tennant on fire? Obviously. This close to putting hot sauce on my toes! I... I forgot to give context for this. What context could you possibly give that would make this any better? My cat's biscuits and gravy are aggressive toe biters, and they will stop at nothing to obtain the experience of feet in their mouth. And then you find out that Biscuit's like, Joke's on you! I'm into that shit! Me then, young, naive. I don't swear because there are better choices to make with my vocabulary. Me now, older, wiser. I am master of all words, and fuck is the best one! She's terrified of watermarks. I would be too if I saw them in my green pile. Oh shit, watermarks in the green pile? This is a hollering! I repeat, this is a hollering! Baby girl? I'm deficient in vitamins scientists haven't even discovered yet. <laughs> Can you pick my arm off the ground? It seems to have fallen. Today I learned caffeine doesn't actually give you energy. It blocks the receptors in your brain that make you feel tired. It's like the difference between adding two and subtracting negative two to me. Mm, drink caffeine to make your brain temporarily apathetic to your body's needs. Caffeine doesn't fill your patrol tank. It just sticks a piece of tape over the gauge telling you your tank is empty. <laughs> I feel like I feel like my whole life has been lied to. Andy, give me the big boy mug and some Death Wish coffee before I cry. You've heard of cucumber. Now get ready for cucumber. God grant me the strength to send this email, the courage to send this email, and the wisdom to send this email. Yo, why are you reciting the Triforce? How else am I supposed to send this email? Mood. Hi, I learned Barbie cosplay Gladys. Okay, but Valve probably had to officially give Mattel permission to do this, which means 
Barbie is canonically the closest thing we have to canon Android Gladys design. What? Simulation of monkey touching button. Boop. Simulation complete. <laughs> Dad. That's interesting because I walked through the valley of the shadow of the death and no one knew you there? D sh shut your mouth! You shut your pig mouth, you mook! I don't flirt. I just talk. It's not my fault everything I say is smoother than the cream cheese spread on your bagel. <laughs> this is what happens when Andy talks. If I learned anything from video games is that when you meet enemies, it means that you're going in the right direction. That's really inspiring. Except when it's Dark Souls. They're just everywhere. Fuck them. Y'all heard of Faithful Translations, now get ready for Unfaithful Translations, where I make my translations say whatever the fuck I want because I think the source material sucks ass. Ghost stories. Just... Just go watch it. I'm sick of people ragging on plague doctors. They did their best against a disease that makes your skin vomit shit, armed with only Greek textbooks, translated into Old High German, from grammar school Latin, from stilted Hebrew, from Berberized Arabic by a monk with boils for eyes. We have nanotechnology and satellites, and we're getting fucked to death by a mediocre flu. Bring back plague doctors. Me when I'm working on something. Oh, I am so fucking genius. Me looking at the completed work. Absolute fucking garbage. Who allowed my hands to make this? Me coming up with concepts and ideas. This is so fucking good. What the fuck? Me actually having to work on it. What kind of fucking bullshit? <clears throat> and yeah, I'm going to need glitter and sparkles for this one. Art is Hate it. It would be so nice to be in an apartment right now with really big open windows and lots of bright light pouring in and, and long curtains and the smell of rain floating through it. The millennial generation is so broke we're romanticizing decent housing. I went to a clown hatchery in Madison today and oh my fucking god there must have been at least 10,000 clowns there. It was incredible. The breeder told me he's been operational for eight years now, and the new morphs he's working with are amazing, with the regular white, orange, and snowflakes he's working with something that gives them a blue toad, and they're gorgeous. I read this like ten times before I realized you were talking about fish. What if they weren't, though? The only reason there are pyramids in Egypt is because they're too heavy to be carried to the British Museum. Jeff, this isn't a joke. This is legitimately true. Here's my gender. I'm too scared to look at it more closely and determine what's going on in there. Please, please, please don't pet it. It bites. Girl, what the fuck is even the theme of Midsummer Night's Dreams? Is there even a lesson to be learned? Is it just vibes or what? Puck at the end of the play. God, did you see that? Insane, right? <laughs> all right, take it easy. I'll see you all later. Wait, wait, Puck! Come back! I have questions! Writing prompt. Your friend requested to be buried with his headset and system. He just came online. I can't believe I have to carry you fuckers from beyond the grave. This is the plot of Blood Gulch Chronicles. Where'd you carry us? To the buffet? And finally... <laughs> melancholy. <laughs> no, Zelda was the scientist. That little guy smashing pots is Zelda's monster. A little girl who grows up thinking all doors are automatic, but actually she's haunted by a really polite ghost. <gasps> so chivalry is dead. You win best response to this post. It's so dumb that broad shoulders are considered unattractive in a woman just because the ideal of womanhood is based on the perceived fragility of a smaller frame. Have you ever seen a woman with broad shoulders? Looks like she was sculpted by the gods themselves. You're absolutely right. Andy put up a picture of Zarya from Overwatch. Look at her. Absolutely beautiful. My favorite ship dynamic is they're both extremely stupid in completely different ways and extremely smart in completely different ways. But really is any of that useful because they just get extra double stupid when together. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if girls use the same style of joke to degrade men like, Cool story, bro, now go chop some lumber. <laughs> go chop some lumber. <laughs> what are you doing out of the garage? Go fix my car. The grill isn't gonna light itself. Don't you have something to fix somewhere? Listen, 
It's 2018. We need to stop blaming serotonin and dopamine and start blaming the real culprit, which is the hippocampus, that son of a bitch. Three years later. It's 2021. We need to stop always blaming our neurochemical functions and start blaming the real culprit, which is of our inherently flawed society that prioritizes greed of the few over the needs of the many, which enables mental illness to flourish without the ability to receive treatment. That son of a bitch. Hmm. Hashtag character development. Today I learned Claudius was the first of 15 Roman emperors to not have any male lovers. People thought it was strange that he was only attracted to women. It is strange. It's fucking weird is what it is. As an artist, I like to think I know when things look sketchy. As a musician, I like to think I know when things sound off. As a math enjoyer, I like to think I know when things don't add up. As a writer, I... Fuck it! Be creative. Even if you never really make anything. Write out plot synopses of stories and then move on. Design OCs you'll never use. Make mood boards and concept art and don't do anything with them. Life's too short to forget everything that inspired you and creation doesn't have to be complete to be worth the time you put into it. Just make shit that makes you happy. Don't have to finish shit. All right? All right. Cool advice from Dark Souls. Age only affects appearance and has no bearing on ability. Gender has no bearing on ability. Everyone has imperfections. Prejudice births malcontents. Become a dark spirit. Time for crab. Screaming and crying because I'll never actually know what people in history's voices sounded like. I think about that a lot, actually. Like, what if... <laughs> what if George Washington sounded like Danny DeVito? <laughs> There's no way to not prove it. Mario says, Blind nationalism, in this case of glorifying the national anthem, is remaining willfully ignorant of the systematic equality that this country still faces. That's why people kneel. Luigi says, Lamal, why the fuck would you stand for the anthem? It doesn't even slap. Dead men tell no tales. <laughs> Wrong, your honor. As a necromancer, I literally summon my first witness. The victim. One time I dreamt in an official statement, the band 21 Pilots revealed that they would be changing their names to 20 Oon Pilots. <laughs> you guys ever have a thing called dream envy? Yesterday night, a lady came through our drive-thru and was like, The way the planets are aligning, and the fact that we're getting a blood moon has me worried. I sense severe werewolf activities on the horizon. You better walk your co-worker to her car tonight after you've closed. I didn't even know what to say, I was just like, Yes, ma'am. You heard that and just went end dialogue. You fool. She's the werewolf. She's luring you into a trap. Stay inside the building. You're gay. What about my gay? It's off its leash and now is redecorating my living room. Please take it back. Damn it, gay, come back here. Went to the thrift store today and there were so many textures there. Affectionate and derogatory. Me touching a shirt. <laughs> texture. Me touching a different shirt. Oh no, texture! I see this in my peripheral vision at all times. One day you smash a cockroach and it starts saying, one of two. Uh, oh god. Dude, don't don't look at me yet, dude. I'm, I'm still rendering. Me transitioning. I am writing all the time, except just, like, inside of me and not outside. Shut up. Yahoo answers, how do I achieve immortality? Don't die. An old English word for library was bookhoard, which literally means book hoard. And honestly, I really think we should go back to saying that. Because not only does it sound really cool, but it also sort of implies that librarians are dragons? D d d Dungeon masters, use this idea! Whilst you were exploring each other's bodies, I was exploring the catacombs. <laughs> <laughs> I am lost in the catacombs. People want to complain that Horace Slughorn wasn't a well-written Slytherin. But trashing your house, faking your death, and transfiguring yourself into an armchair to avoid an uncomfortable conversation is about as Slytherin as it gets. It wasn't even his house. Even more Slytherin! Science side of Tumblr, explain why the ride home always takes less time. The ride home takes less time because you already have memories of the locations you passed on the way there. When you take in a new memory, your brain slows down to process it and write as much information as possible. When you've already experienced something, it doesn't have as much to remember. Oh my god, are you Al Harwinstons?
Shape-shifting is the best superpower because you can have any haircut anytime you want. You can turn into a hotter version of yourself. You can turn into a dragon. You can turn into a robot. You can transform into a shambling mound of abstract shapes and soak outside your strange father's house at night while chanting ominously about his sins. This took a weird turn, but I'm still on board. There's something oddly poetic about killing something that bleeds blood that belonged to you. Huh? Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. I smacked a mosquito. My dad kept having trouble with my pronouns, they, them, so I told him to pretend I was a swarm of bees, and it somehow helped. The NB in non-binary actually stands for numerous bees. Bees indeed. <laughs> Andy, summon the bees! Bees? You want bees? Bees! <laughs> Ironic that Bilbo was so annoyed with the Sackville Bagginses for stealing from him and trying to evict him from his house, when his whole adventure involves stealing from someone and evicting them from their house. To be fair, he was essentially helping someone get rid of their own Sackville Bagginses. This is an absolutely world-rocking take on narrative parallels in The Hobbit. Like, why, yes, those were equally petty property disputes, and your point? Hey, uh, can I get a... Ingredients on my burger. Beetroot. You want beetroot? You want fucking beetroot? Ingredients. Date of origin, December 29th, 2016. Fuck, that's old. Nobody look at me, I'm an idiot. I'm the smartest person alive! Nope, 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 I'm dumb as fuck. I am a beacon of knowledge! I'm sorry, did you mean, uh, world-renowned game grumps or Arnold Hansen right there, that guy? Didn't anticipate one of the bonuses of going to a drag show in a smaller, more conservative town would be getting to see a bro who clearly wandered into the wrong part of the bar by mistake experience what looked to be a transcendent awakening upon his first drag show. One of the queens halfway through the show. Honey, are you straight? This man in a strangled voice. I don't know. It will be like that. Evil fonts. Helvetica, Crimes New Roman, Impact Fatal, Malibri, Ariel. Why the fuck do people have to yell at sports on the TV? I don't want to hear it ever again. Hey, hey, hey! I have to let the sportsmen know what to do. They are lost without my guiding hand. The tiny men on the TV run for my enjoyment. The least I can do is be a leader for them. Imagine just straight up having a mental breakdown or something, and PM Seymour's just like, Hey, that belongs in my video. Well, guess what, bitch? 